Hello and welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick with the City of Hampton. And as soon as the cameras pull back, you will see that today is an artist day. We are going to meet a Hampton artist, Robert Elliott. Welcome, Robert. Now, I bumped into you at the Phoebus Spring Fling. And you know, the first thing I thought was, wow. <laughs> I mean, a lot of use of color, a lot of use of graphics and images and words. Um, and I was stunned because I had never seen you at local festivals before. You, you really are just sort of ramping up your art. This is your second career, right? Right. Yeah, I'm retired. So. You're retired from the shipyard as an electrician. Yes. At some point, though, I mean, you did art as a kid, right? You were interested in it. Uh, our school went to a, like everyone in Hampton Roads, your school goes either to, uh, we all go to Bluebird Gap Farm and we all go to Washington DC to the Smithsonian's. And we went to the Smithsonian's and went into the art gallery and I was amazed at immortality. I saw paintings from three, 400 years old that I could see with someone and I thought that was the coolest thing. And I've been trying to do it ever since, but the whole school got on the bus and they had to come find me. They really, you were lost in the art. <laughs> no, I wasn't lost. I was watching. Well, immersed I was, I was, in look, the Yes, art. I was immersed in art. And uh, they had to come tell me it was time to go home. But, uh, and I've been, it's just a love relationship from that day. Did you ever think of it as a career? Or were you like, no, I have to make money, which is more. Um, well, I had a family. So, I mean, but I've always wanted to do that. I, I just um, I got the, got hooked as a boy. And, but. It, it's been a long journey to learn. To, I'm, I'm completely self-taught, so it's taken me a long, long time to get there. How, how, okay, this is a, maybe a weird question, but how do you teach yourself? Like, I would love to learn to paint. I have no idea how to go about it. How did you begin the learning process? I read a lot of books, and I went to, uh, I've probably been to probably 2,000 museums and galleries across the world. I, I was in the military, so everywhere I went, uh, Especially what my time in, in Europe, uh, uh, Spain, you know, the Spain is where it's at for me. <laughs> the, the color, the color of the artists. And, you know, that's where Picasso's from, Dolly. Mm -hmm. you know, and so you really see uh, the, 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 they're not shy. Americans are kind of shy. With, it's yeah, too, they are. It's too much, you know, for what I do for a lot of people is a little too much. But when you go to Spain, you know, th this is very calm. <laughs> that's great. Well, do you have a style like if you were to describe first of all you have many styles but is is there a term you would use or is it you don't want to pin it down um i figure someone else can figure it out when i'm <laughs> gone but uh, it's kind of uh i see artists changing and we're we're becoming a, st a street art is becoming very street uh mm -hmm. it's very a lot of graffiti and i've incorporated the words in in the uh, busyness um some of that is natural. As a boy, I've always had migraines, and I would, um, and that's part of the way I paint. But I would have migraines, and like if I could look at trees was the big thing. If I look at a tree and I could see all the limbs, and then if I look away and I look at your car, I can still see the tree limbs on the car. And then if I look away from the car and look at someone's house, I still see the car and I would still see the tree. And that's the way my migraines worked. And I would oh, have them. So interesting. Uh, they ceased a few years ago, but for my whole life, I've. And so that is the layers. That's why I paint the way I paint. It's it's. I'm used to seeing. If you look, start looking at paintings, and you look at that philosophy, you'll see the layers of the things peeking through, different things. And then it's wow. noise, and so I call it kind of noise painting. Mm -hmm. but noise that's, painting. That's it's fun. Is but it's really really busy. It's not for everybody, but. Um, but if you but it's captivating and it's you know it's art that you can keep looking at like I don't know if we can get the camera on on this large one behind us but that is tell me about it I mean I, I can tell what I see but my wife's a school teacher so it's all based on that mm -hmm. it's a old school and new school you know things have changed but it really hasn't changed it's just co you know we still most of the schools are the same buildings 
You know, yes, they're 50 and yeah. 60 years old, but you know, we're still learning the basics, but it, it goes through about the different, and, and it's not everything. I even have a hall pass up there somewhere oh, and a homecoming that. queen, but mm -hmm. it's all those basic things. And, but the central image is older. I mean, it's yes. a older, is it a person? Is it a mathematician? Where it, it, it's how that's I, what I'm seeing. Art it. is how you perceive. It's kind of like right. an old school professor, you know, mm -hmm. and, and very, very dignified. But then you have the colors that are, you know, this wouldn't be in the colors back no, in absolutely. the 20s, the 30s. Yeah. You know. yeah, and it's sort of pop-ish a little bit with, all, with the, very geometric too. You do a lot with lines and shapes. So let's look at madness over here. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lot. The, um, to, to me, that's all art is. It's just colors and lines. Mm -hmm. and, the, the, um, and if you take away a line, it might be ruined. Or if you add too many lines, it's ruined. It's a perfect balance. And I see that. For, I don't know why I see it, but uh, that's the way I see it. And the same thing. And that's thing, all intuitive to you. And the you same thing with color. Every mm -hmm. color has a place. Everything's in its place in order. It's complete control madness. It it is. It's just it's just controlling what you see. And uh, but there's there's a lot here. This is um, the world as the world turns. There's different things going on. Yeah. And the pyramid represents you know the all seeing eye and and. And money, finance, you know, it's, it's, all, it's all the same, but there's air, water, trees, it's all, it's all our whole world, you know, and, and this is, there is no madness like no madness, and if, if everything was perfect, we would go crazy. Oh, interesting thought. You know, that we're used to that, you're used to getting up, hearing the alarm, and hitting pause four times, mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and, you know, the cat meowing because you didn't feed it, and the kids, well, you know, that's... Uh, you hear all that noise. This is the visual no, equivalent of the noise in our lives. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, all, it's all there. But if, you, if everything, we all say we want everything quiet and perfect, but if it was, it would drive you crazy. Mm -hmm. But that one is black and white, and it's large. Now, what, what, because it's so busy, you didn't add the color, or what, what is your favorite? Black and white is my favorite. Oh, form really? Of art. Yes. Now, see, I look around and I would have said, you have a love of color. Um, there's a, people don't buy as much black and white. They, they, they do, but it's a certain kind of person that appreciates black and white. But, um, it is my fa it is my, definitely my, far my favorite. Interesting. And, uh, if you look at, uh, I have one here. Okay. There's another busy one, but a good artist should be able to get 64 colors with black. You should be able to make 64 different shades. Shades. And it's just how close the dots or the lines are. It's grayscales. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, you know, and sometimes I do that, but you can see how tight things are. You know, the closer they are, it gives you a, a gray color. It just changes. So this one... This is music, music through time. Oh, okay. Because I was going to say, that's, you know, kind of your 20s 20s, yeah. Era yeah, right yeah there. you can see that how, how the... Uh, you know, the music really hasn't changed, it's, you know, and the, and the people really haven't changed, but you could see, but we think it has. A little bit of style difference yes. is about all it is. Yeah, the music, our style's changed in the way we look and dress, but so is our music. Our music just follows, same tempo along with what we're doing. Follows us. Well, let's talk about this one a little bit. I adore this. Um, you've got a lot of words on here. You've got this big central image, heart, love. I hope it's okay that I'm touching yep. them. I'm so sorry. Oh, um, they're fine. Family. It's just uh, all the things that are associated with your life. I mean, you got mother, father, sister, brother, and I even went as far as saying dog number one and dog number two because that's that's how a lot. We all have them. Yeah, yeah, it's we it, outlive our dogs. And, and and then the types of things that we go through. There's little league and baseball music. It's all the the things you know. What each of us call family and home is different, and what we call home and love. You know, all those things is different. To, to each household, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. this is a soccer family over here. This is a ballet family over here. Yeah. You know, just. But it's all very central to love and home and, mm -hmm. you know, what, what makes us who we are. But it's, it's, it's busy, but you, but uh, back to what I was talking about, you can see all the, the background noise. It's just, mm -hmm. it's just layers of noise and that noise makes um, good contrast. 
and it, I like uh, a lot of art that you walk by and see is um, it doesn't hold my attention and it's not and and I love all art it doesn't matter who it is I mean I, I have an appreciation for everything like your backdrop here with the line oh it's beautifully sculpted you know and but you can see that in the lines in the sidewalk you mm -hmm. know what I mean yeah but each person is different as to what they like and I'm losing my train of thought yeah everybody's different well so I noticed that you paint a lot of women is that true I mean, Bo you looked both. at me like, no, I don't. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know what you have in stock at any time. Yeah, I do. Time. I do like. Yeah, I do. Uh, probably even. It's probably even. Um, Just maybe what you had at Phoebus, but something like. So, can you see the one that's on the oh, screen yes, there? I, oh wow. Okay. Yeah, she's. Um, that's you're. You're remembering the way you were. You know, you might be 80 years old and you're sitting there and you remember in love and how romantic it was. And, and there's all kinds of little things written on there. But basically that's, you're, you're thinking of how fun and young and... and Another, I am woman. Yeah, and, and they're, all, they're all different. It's, um, most of my paintings are conversations that people are talking about. And then all of a sudden it, I don't know, it becomes a painting. You know, it's just, and then... But, but in the end, it's really not what I painted. It's what you see in it. All right, so there's another one. Woman with black swan? What is that? Yeah, it's just a swan. It's just a, uh, that one got a little busy. I don't really have a purpose or a meaning in that. It was just uh, layers of... That's a busy, busy painting. And then some are... This one... Is this the one by me? Yep. Yeah. That are more, um, oops, I moved it, sorry, from the camera. That are more simple, more white space, less busy, but interesting use of the color and the shape. No but, words on this one, right? No, it's just balance. That's just color balance and shape balance, and, and it's fun. It's a, uh, I'm not really a decoration artist, but I mean, I can paint anything, you know, and it's just uh, How do you decide what to paint? Does it just come to you? Uh... I, I'm a scribbler. I scribble, I have books. I used to do it, my wife finally bought me a book to draw in, but I've always had napkins, envelopes, and whatever magazines, whatever I pick. When we're talking, I usually am doodling, I guess you call it, and then I save all those, and then- Do you doodle in words or images or both? All of it. Okay. All, yeah, I'm like, I should have brought my book where you could see, because there's, some of these paintings are like the scribble version, and then you can see where it really, but I do this little, I don't know, I just draw things and then when I'm ready to paint, I, I go through and I look at things and say, oh, that's a good one, and I paint it. Now it changes, that's just, that's just the initial thought, but if I don't draw it or sketch it when I think of it, then I've, it's kind of forgotten. So I, every time I think of something, I scribble some kind of arrows or words by it and you know, just, it looks very Greek, but it's kind of way. Uh, my books look like this, where everything is just, there's this over here and a little piece over here, and I, and I just pile it on there, and then I see something and paint it. Um, so how long does it take you to do these? I mean, you, you've just kind of recently gone full-time, going to do the art shows, going to really um, make your second career yep. out of it. How long did it take you to amass enough to fill a tent? Um, there's a, you probably have a lot of viewers out there that, that are learning art. And, mm -hmm. and I was just like all of them. I started, you know, one painting a year, five. When, you, when you're starting out, five paintings in a year is a big deal. And then ten paintings in a year. And, you know, I can paint ten paintings in a day now. And, but it's taken me a lifetime to be able to follow that. Now, the bigger you go, the the longer it takes. Mm -hmm. uh, this piece here, there's a hundred hours in this painting. Oh, I bet. It's the, so detailed. Between the sketches and mm -hmm. the ideas and, and making everything fit where it's supposed to, you know, and then you look at the piece that's down there that you held up a while ago, that little piece the there, simple one. you yeah. know, that's a 45 minute painting. You know, mm -hmm. you sit down and it's, and it's fun and it kind of makes its way as it goes along. You have a basic idea and as you finish it, you know, 
your brain fills in the, you know, kind of goes the way it goes. But most of my paintings is a definite plan. I have a little drawing and, or I, and just this year since I had my stroke, I can see it from here and go right. I don't, I don't put a pencil on a canvas any longer. I, I used to do all that and sketch and put everything in, and I pretty much pick up a brush and put brush to canvas. And that's, that's new, but I'm evolving as an artist every day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, There's a lot more different styles here than, than some people have. Yeah. I think, you know, you've got this pent up, you always wanted to do this, and, and then it sort of exploded. But I, I started out painting um, trees and landscapes, and then I did portraits. I trained myself how to layer, you know, the different, uh, there, there are, I learned the school of the masters, the way you layer, you, you set your palette up a certain way. I don't do any of the stuff traditional. I do it the way I'm come my way, and I, every time I do it, it's something different. Uh, sometimes I look at, you buy a set of paints and you get some colors that aren't used very often, and so I say, well, oh. I've got all this paint over here and this is the colors we're using today. So the ones up on the screen now are really interesting, especially that central image. Tell me about that. That is actually, uh, it's a, the luau without the lays. The big flower. Yes, and if you, if you look at it, that's your little dancer guy there. That's the, the boats, and, and that's our little Hawaiian dancer there. And that's, that's exactly what it is. It's, um, I saw something on TV, and it just kind of, I don't know, but I didn't do any of the lays. Now the lays are, I did squares in there and that's kind of representation of the lays, different colors. All right, I'm gonna go backtrack for a second, but you, your art, you said was a little bit shaped by the way you see things when you have migraines. Since you've had your stroke, how did that change the way you see things, the way you perceive things? I honestly don't know, but it's it's there's, it's a faster process from thinking about something to to working it. It doesn't it flows it flows effortlessly. Whereas before, I had to force something. I don't force anything any longer. I I'm along for the ride. Art is love hate. You know, you do something, and we all this is what I'm going to do. I have a plan, and then the art kind of takes on its own I do something it does something back back and forth in it and I may not like it and then I love it and then I hate it and that kind of goes back and forth it's a relationship between paint and artist for for me mm -hmm. I can't speak for all artists but from for me it's it's a it's a relationship and sometimes a really good relationship and like all relationships there's bad there's bad <laughs> ones <laughs> you know you just kind of and and sometimes paintings um we get in an argument and I set it on the shelf and it sits there for a day, a week, a month, a year. And then I go back and, and sometimes I'll just be done with it and paint over it and paint something on top of it. Oh, interesting. And it just, it just you can't get it to work. Um, or somebody might say something about it that they don't like, or, or, or for some reason I'm, you know, my, or the thought gets skewed, you know, it just, but everything you paint, if you, as a painter, you're lucky if you paint 20 paintings that people love one. If you can, people love and you sell one, you're, you're really good, you're, you're, a good, you're a good average painter. And you know, then the guy that can sell 50% of what he paints, you know, you get better. And there are some people, no matter what they paint, you know, that is our goal, but, but. Right, right. You know, but you can't please, everyone's mind is different. Right, oh yeah, and it, it's all, your taste, your experience, everything. Um, is different. So if people are intrigued by what they've seen here today, how can they see more of your art? How can they, where are you going to be? What's uh, the best way? I do the shows at uh, Stockley Gardens, um, Port Warwick. I'm at the walk, uh, the art walk in Hilton. And you'll um, be back in Phoebus for Pride. Yeah, I'll be in Phoebus for Pride. And hopefully other Phoebus festivals. You're not far away. You live in Buckrow, right? Uh, in Hampton. In no, I live in Hampton over here Buckrow's at... Uh, um off of um, Queen Street. Yep. Oh, okay, okay. 
So is there anything else you want to add before um, we close up? You also have an email address, which I think, you know, we could put up on the screen oh, if people want to see it. Um, I had a that's all right. We'll get, we'll get done oh. later. <laughs> I was gonna say you could they can focus on yeah there's an email on that they can focus on okay and um it's just beautiful and fun and and layered your art is so thank you very much for coming to share that with us today okay and thank you for watching i hope you are as intrigued by this as i am and um look for robert at various shows around town thanks for watching